from America, 28 years old. She went to document the civilian deaths there and the civilian suffering of this war so she could take it back to America and let her people know that there's immense suffering going on. And she was killed on the way to the airport. This is Rachel Corey who sat in, who stood in front of an Israeli, basically a tank without a gun and was bulldozered over bulldozed over, protecting the house of a pharmacist who had nothing to do with terrorism. This is Tom Herdell, this man who was shot trying to block the bullets from Palestinian children that were being shot at. A young Englishman who we will not know what his fate was to be. His parents had to bury him. And he was using his body to protect Palestinian children, not British children. Palestinian children. That is mercy. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he is Arham al Rahimin. And that is why we have to reinstill the centrality of the Messenger of Allah in our lives. Because this is what is missing in the Ummah. We shout and we scream and yet he never shouted and screamed. مَا كَانَ صَخَابٍ aswaq. They say in the Shifa that the only place it's acceptable to scream is in the Suq. When you're telling people بَصَلْ أَحْلَى مِنَ asal. You know, onion sweeter than honey. Abdurrahman al awzai the Lebanese Syrian alim once walked by an onion seller who said, Basal ahlam min al asal. And he said, Ayyadun hadha an al kidib ya juz fi mithli hadha. Does he think you can lie in things like that even? Little white lies? Because onions are not sweeter than honey. So th this is the rahmah that the Prophet came to infuse the world with, this mercy. And this is why the Muslims of all people should be the people that remind others of their own principles, of their own truths. The Prophet ﷺ reminded the Jahli Arabs, he said, Du'itu ila hilfin fil jahliya, lo du'itu ilayhi fil islam la ajibtu. I was in, called to an alliance in the Jahiliya. If they invited me to it in Islam, I would have answered Hilf al Fudul because it was an alliance to defend the weak and the oppressed. And the Prophet stood by right where, where he saw it. He stood by right where he saw it. And this is why Shuraih al Qadi, when the Jew opposed Imam Ali, who was Amir al Mu'mineen, in a famous case. And he came to him and the Jew presented his argument and Ali presented his. Shuraih al-Qadi said, Aqdi lil Yahudi. And when he did that, the Jew said, this is your ruler. And you're saying that I'm right. And he said, because this is what appears to me. He hasn't brought me sufficient evidence. And he said, if this is Islam, I'm a Muslim. This is akhlaq. لا يدري منكم شنآن قوم على ألا تعدلوا اعدلوا do not let the loathing of a people cause you to be unjust. Shana'an, according to Ibn Asakir, is a specific type of bughd. It is a bughd that blinds people from the goodness in their enemies. It's a, it's a blindness that is, does not allow a person to see what is good in their enemies. And when Ikrima ibn Abi Jahl came in to become a Muslim, the Prophet said, Alimtu, anna min abika ya'ti al khair. I knew that good would come from your father. In other words, he saw good in Abu Jahl, our messenger, his enemy, who was Fir'aun Hadid Ummah. He saw good in him, and the good came in the form of his son, Ikrima. And this is why you cannot be blinded by hatred. We are not people of hatred. We are people that look with Aina Shafaqa, with the eye of compassion. Because when we see people who are lost, we want to see them guided. No one truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. And this is why Imam Nawawi said, this love, Yashmadu al Yahudi wa Nasrani, it is a love that encompasses Jews and Christians. Why? And everyone else. Why? Because you should at least want for them guidance. 